Phaser Games, it's Kuda from Team X Eggs, and today I'm doing something a little different, something you've never seen from any of us at Team X Eggs. We have Blaze Blue Extended. I really been wanting to put some of this out, but I haven't had the time to practice. But I got a great idea. I'm gonna give you a pro commentary for non-pro gamers. I got my cousin and brother Soulvite and Silky Death here with me, helping me out, and they are gonna do their damnedest to just put on a great show, and I am gonna just showcase the hell out of it. So we got Soul Divide on the left, Silky Death on the right. So let's go, let's go guys, let's see some awesome matches. Alright, so we got Jin versus Noel, the zoning fiend versus the close quarters combo master. Let's see if we can do anything special today. Alright. Slow start. You don't know they could skip the beginning. All right, Blue Jim versus Shamrock. No, well, let's go. Do something awesome, guys. All right, Noel jumps in, balls out, uses her burst gauge. Can't break out of any combos anymore for the rest of this round. Soul Divide trying to get him in the ice encapsulation, but not getting that range quite down. Jumping in, just totally whiffing attacks all over the place. <laughs> Oh, ride the ice thing right into Noel. Doesn't capitalize off of that, but gets a few easy hits off of it. Goes to the grab, misses. Chain drive attacks. Oh, and the lightning swipes by Jin. Oh, more whiffed attacks. Like I said, not pros completely. But Silky gets off a easy uh, reset with his drive attacks. Oh my God, more blind ride the ice thing. Easily punishable. Not not advisable by me by any means. But you know, in this game, anything's good because. <laughs> oh, 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 he got a combo! Soul Divide is, oh my god, Soul Divide takes the first round with, he just like, pulled, he put on his big boy pants, and he just was like, Jill, sit down, sit down. Round two, Rebel two, random ride the ice in the sky, another wasted burst gauge right away, you will be sorry for that later on, that means no astral finishes for him on his side. Jumps in, gets the easy drive attacks, but Noel's, she's, Oh man, she may be seen as easy mode for some, but those drive attacks are pretty basic when you actually get them synced correctly. Or when you just randomly throw them out too, they also work just like a awesome. Oh my god, leap attack in, throwing zoning moves an inch away from Noel. Soul Divide, he has no qualms about just leaving himself wide open. Oh, lucky drive attacks, gets to capitalize on a full combo, doesn't finish with the distortion drive. <laughs> gets punished for the poke. Oh, oh, easy combo. Oh my god, this is combo mode easy for you guys. Let's go. Throw, can he extend it? No, he goes into the late distortion drive and misses. Zoning from three feet away once again. I don't see. Oh, there he goes. Oh, schmanged by the weakest portion of Noel's distortion drive. If he had actually stabbed him with a bayonet, he got on a rocket finish and probably could have finished off Soul Divide. Oh, and Silky Death takes it narrowly at the end of that one. Alright, we're going to round three. Best of two. I didn't expect it to go this long, but you know, anything is possible in Blaze Blue when nobody really knows exactly what they're doing. Oh, oh, just ride. Oh, come on, ride the ice thing. Ride the ice thing. There you go. <laughs> Punished like a beast, just as it should be. More high stun drive attacks by Silky Death. <laughs> the zoning might actually work. Zone in him. Oh, but he gets punished by that quick slide attack from below. More poorly chosen freezing attacks. Totally whiffing, not even close to connecting. Well, hopefully we can see a flashy finish in this one. I, I, I need something to get me a little pumped up and excited for the next round. Random revolver blast in the air. Both players are feeling each other out, trying to get a way in. Either one can actually seem to connect with anything meaningful. What is going on? Somebody hit somebody! Thank you! See if he can break his guard. Those guard breakers are insane. You can get a massive combo if you can actually get that. Oh, random rapid cancel. I think that was a mispress. Throw and he capitalizes to the distortion, but it's not enough to put Suki so Death down. Oh, but he's got him up against the wall. He's pushing him. Oh, Suki Death breaks free. More random projectiles, not enough. And Soul Divide squeaks out the win. Oh, man. All right, we're going to take this to round two. 
Who will they pick? What characters will they choose? Nobody, nobody, you're super scrubby with, please, please guys. Alright, let's see. Soul Divide will be going with... Who's he going with? He's floating around Ragna. He's going Platinum, Valkenine. Alright, he goes for Makoto and Silky Death with Iron Tager. The Zane Geef Potemkin wannabe. He's still a beast, but... Uh, I don't know how he could pull it off. Makoto, probably, arguably, one of the faster characters in the game against Tager, the slowest. This is either going to be incredibly one-sided or it could be a great match. I don't know. I'm not a fortune teller. I don't pretend to be. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have oh, to great. What, another green-ass, well. you know, St. Patrick's we Day well. character we going against the norm. Let's see what we got going on here. Who's going to make the first move? Oh, random wrestling move. Oh, Squirrel Tactics fail to the giant forearm of Hager. Another early burst. Didn't really capitalize on it whatsoever. He got out of a maybe one, two hit combo. Oh, and Makoto actually trying to zone Hager, which is actually possible. Makoto has very poor zoning capabilities, but... If he was going to take a uh, zone against anybody, Tager would definitely be the one with that weak sauce move. Makoto acting like a spinning top. Whoa! Beast mode freaking zone attack from Makoto. Let's see. Oh, jeez. Soul Divide is against the wall. It's not where he wants to be, but he plows his way out with the distortion drive. Is he going to get that max charge? Oh, he does it! Sorry, Tager's far from out. He's got the highest HP in the game. He's going to take a lot more pummeling from Soul Divide to take out Silky Death in this one. He misses the combo. Another burst gauge, not totally used effectively, but he gets the weak attack out in the corner for the win. Much closer match than I thought it was going to be. Oh, Soul Divide decides to take it back. Oh, and he completely changes it up. Almost got the giant Tager bitch slap. There he goes. There's another one. Koto using those weak sauce punches. I like to see something more awesome and powerful from her. But Tager's just such a beast. He doesn't take much damage. He take those punches all day long. Squirrel tactics for the win. But he drops the combo once more. Soul Divide will have to complete those combos if he thinks he's going to get through. Oh, and Tager gets some massive damage in the corner. That move is almost unavoidable when you're pushed up against the wall. Will he be able to use that momentum to finish off Soul Divide? Gets the grab. Oh, he can get the OTG and misses it barely. Soul Divide is down but not out. He's going up against the rope, jumping in recklessly, just totally going for the overhead. Oh, what was that? Stop trying to throw random moves out when they have no effect. Come on. Sucky's trying to tap out any move he can get just to get that last little smidge of HP off of Soul Divide. What is going on? They're just... Oh, thank God that's over. That was that was just long and painful. Let's see. We got enough folks for maybe one more match. All right. pick your Choose your A game, guys. A game. Go out on a bang, right? Somebody that's just amazing. Oh, Silky goes with his infamous... Platinum the Trinity, you guys might not know this, but Platinum has this crazy heart dolphin attack, which is totally crazy and just shmangs everybody. Tal Who's, oh, Soul Divide goes with Tao Kaka. See some Berserker Barrages mixed up with some dolphin hearts and some bubbles. I want to see lots of bubbles. Let's go, guys. Alright, get through those load screens. Nice change in color besides the, you know, just plain green wash. This one's a little better. Kaukaka jumping in across the screen. That's what she does best. She's totally unpredictable. And another wasted first gauge from Silky Death. I can't, it pains me to see that. But, you know, he's gotten close and hasn't really come down to this one burst gauge finish. Pogo Stick from Platinum. Oh, no. And Soul Divide has got him stuck in the corner with the repeatable, spammable claws. More pogo sticks. I want to see some dolphins. There we go. There's the dolphin heart attack. It's one I know and love. If he can get in close enough to actually capitalize on that, there will be just massive damage. One hit damage combos that just do insane amounts of hit stun and everything else that a combo should do. See if he can actually connect with it. Soul Divide has put up with that for a long time though, so he knows to look out for it. Not to do anything that leaves him too open. 
Oh, a nice aerial combo by Soul Divide. They didn't do much damage, but it was nice to watch. Let's see if he can get another. Oh, no. There's another random dolphin. Oh, and the pounce attack by Soul Divide. I hate that attack. You can't block it. Very hard to dodge. I think it's a total bitch move, but in this case, it pulled the clutch. <laughs> Soul Divide's not too happy about me calling that move a bitch move, but whatever. Get some bubble action, yes! And oh, we just pulled a weak sauce hip attack. Oh, an actual burst attack that was useful that time. OTG not capitalizing to a combo. He's in the long range of that uh, wand in the dolphin attack. More aer aerial combos by Soul Divide. That was actually powerful enough to actually do a nice chunk of damage. Random dolphin whiffs. Soul Divide not able to return the favor with some cat claws of some sort. Oh, more spammable. Flammable, Cat Claws, Top Attack, very punishable, Soul Divide punishes the hell out of it. Both players feeling each other out, not able to connect with anything meaningful. Oh, Soul Divide chipping away. Oh, and the random Bell Throw, Dolphin Attack misses at the second chance. Oh, look how much damage that does, guys. He could come back from this with just one more Dolphin Attack. Will he be able to... Connect. Oh, he can't get those combos. Soul Divide on the ropes, blocking, and he hits him with the overhead of the Dolphin Heart. Like a boss, like a boss. All right, this is going to round three, guys. I don't know who can come back on top. So far, it's two to nothing. Soul Divide. Let's see if Silky can pull out that last win just to retain some amount of honor in this fight among friends. Random attacks. Soul Divide able to keep up with the... Uh, Hit across the screen, throw into a dolphin dive, insane amount of damage, 2,000 plus from Platinum. That's, that's insane for a throw combo, especially one that only consists of one follow-up move. Will he be able to just eke it out, keep him away? Oh, another dolphin. Three more dolphins, he could be KO for Soul Divide. Oh, and he gets a more high priority move to blast through that dolphin heart attack. Oh, oh, aerial combo, nope, drops the combo, another dolphin attack, eeks him out, just one more hit for Silky Death, will he do it? No! Yo, he got it! I thought that Berserker Barrage was going to get through the attacks of Soul Divide, but Silky Death pulls off that last major win. Alright folks, well that about does it for me, Kuda from Team X Eggs. I hope you enjoyed my showcast, I've been wanting to do this for a super long time. Maybe next time I'll bring you a game where I actually know the names and the moves and the tactics for everybody. Uh, these guys are going to keep playing around, you know, just doing whatever they do when we're not recording it on screen. Hope you guys enjoyed, see us in the next video, peace out.